What's that say? What's that say right there? 759? We're going to California, baby. <clears throat> We're going to Cali. Woo! I mean, we'll be there in like four days because I'm driving. Because I'm stupid. Or am I? Last night, I prepped overnight oats, beans, quinoa and kale and garlic, and some fucking sweet potatoes. Are we ready to roll? Are you ready to roll? Shit. <sighs> it's a lot of driving though. But at least I'll have you guys. I made it extra sloppy for ya. Boom. Absolutely beautiful. If you're in Missouri and you're watching KOHM, gonna be some kids playing at the rest stop. Pretty crazy stuff going on, guys. You don't get this kind of adventure if you're up there, if you're flying. If you're driving, you know, you see America. Finding Hi, Nene. Holy shit, shit. you're going further than I, I came from uh, Indianapolis. And seizing Good morning. Today is the last day of driving. Yay. <laughs> yeah, baby. Just checked into my friend Bill's place. Um, Bill has a, a really beautiful property in Topanga Canyon. I'm definitely looking forward to not driving all day tomorrow. Uh, four days of nonstop driving is uh, is kind of a lot. And uh, for whatever reason, it was just um, very exhausting. I had some like rain, some, some like not so lovely weather. Um, it's just tough, man. I don't know if I'm, I mean, I, I, obviously I'm getting older, but I'm not old. I just mean like as a 20 year old with a bunch of energy hopped up on fucking Mountain Dew, like road trips were easier. Uh, and you know, I'm just, it's just hard is all I'm trying to say. So I'm going to go to bed. Um, I have my tea. And uh, I brought <clears throat> a candle with me. Talk to you guys tomorrow morning. I don't really have anything else to say right now. Good morning, you guys. What's up? What's happening? How you doing today? The birds are so active. I love it. I'm so at peace right now. The mountains, the vibes, the Jeep made it 2200 miles bill wants to show you guys one of his latest spaces um the secret garden i think is what he calls it so let's go check it out let's go give it a shot hey, Mark. 
There you are. I arrived in uh, California last night and I hit up Bill and I said, hey, do you have a space for me? And uh, he always comes through. So. You're always welcome here, Mark. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is his new space and he's gonna give us a little tour and uh, kind of explanation of the, uh, the design of the space. We casually call this the, the glass room. And um, a friend of mine gave me this. And I got these four panels of, it's, it's called industrial sash. It was very, um, it, was, it was all over the place. It was in schools, it was in hospitals, it was in residences. You've got five of them marching around the room here. And then in each corner is uh, old growth redwood columns. Where do you and get something like that? I got them at an architectural salvage place okay. in Pasadena. Pasadena wow. is just one of the best places ever to get older stuff. We have a, a river or a stream that runs clear across the front of the mermaid. Actually runs underneath here and you can hear water, water noise. Uh, I love this tub. It's made by Kohler. I can't find them anymore. They don't make them anymore. We have the faucet here. Is this lady makes these in in England? Um, Miss Artisan is her name, and we get really good flow here. This is just the hot water. There's a cold water coming in, so it, you'll get a full tub here in short order. A lot of artists uh, cease to actually enjoy their work. Uh -huh. Are you one of those people? Or do you actually stay in these spaces that you create? I like working on them more than staying in them. I really look forward to getting up most mornings. And you know, we work seven days a week here, starting at seven in the morning. Um, I've got a really good crew, and um, yeah, I love what I do. I was at a desk for 25 years illustrating commercial illustrator, an art director, very sedentary, solitary. So I'm really doing the same thing, but I'm doing it, I'm my own boss, I don't have to answer to an art director, and um, I kind of follow my, my own, whatever I'm feeling that particular time. But I'm very excited about this space here. When I met Bill three or four years ago, I didn't expect um, our relationship to continue this far. And um, yeah, he's, He's just always someone I can count on, um, just to make to make California feel like home still. You know what I mean? Having a property like this that is so wild and funky and full of life, it really is like um, I don't know, just such a happy place for me. All right, guys, ready to roll. You guys are definitely gonna remember this beach. Been coming here for almost eight years now. How's it going? Oh man. Kinda wish I had olive. It's all right though. No saben la tristeza que mi alma le dejaron Aquellos ojos verdes que yo nunca pensaré beach day check. It was supposed to be gloomy and moody here in LA 
and today it was far from it. It was beautiful. I feel so flippin' chilled out right now. It's been like two years since I've been to California, long time since I've been to the beach. Uh, it's a good vibe, and I just went to this place called Vintage Groceries. Been here a bunch in the past, um, and it is one of those grocery stores that has groceries that are like way too much money, but you want them anyways because you're hungry. <sighs> I'm also just not used to like how many um, cool and hot people <laughs> are are in here. Uh, I'm a little brain dead still from the trip, but we got we got food, we got beach, we got sun, and. Um, yeah, it's fucking, I feel great. What a great, what a good vibe. I love it here. Guys, should we go to Nobu? Get some sush? Oh my God, I'm like craving a California roll right now. Craving. I went to a car wash in Malibu and the guy was like, yeah, uh, we can do it for you. Give me $75. No, dude, I will do it. Just get out of the way, give me the hose, give me the bucket. Let me wash my own car. What does that cost me? It's so beautiful here. So this is the room I've been staying in the last two days. This is a separate house building uh, on the property. And um, I wanted to show you the, the kitchen. It's really fucking cool. So walking into the bathroom here, this is like the old um, primary bedroom bathroom, I suppose and he transformed the walk-in closet into a kitchen, which you're about to see. Check it out, boy. Uh, it's not very pretty, because I have all my shit everywhere, but it's pretty sweet, huh? Boom, little fridge. Just put some of my groceries in there. I'm preparing some overnight oats for later today. Anyways, that's the kitchen. Uh, I'm probably gonna take a little bit of a nap uh, and just chill out the rest of the night. Tomorrow I have plans of uh, grabbing some Lunch with my friend Kevin, very excited. Haven't seen Kevin in a long time. And uh, my friend Mitch, I'm seeing this week as well. And it's great, it's so great. I love vacation. I haven't taken a dedicated vacation in so fucking long and I needed it, you know, cause we all need vacation. We all need a break from work, even though I'm filming and taking pictures. Uh, but that's what I love to do. And that's kind of why I think it took me so long to take a trip because I, my work and my hobby, personal life is so much swirled together. It's like, uh, it's just swirled. It's all fucking swirled up in there. That's my life, you know? It's a great life. See you tomorrow. It's Kevin. <laughs> Kevin and I just had lunch. It was beautiful. We're at this place called Elefante. Elefante in Santa Monica. What's this dessert? What did I get again? Chocolate. Torta. Chocolate torta. I got an affogato. How is it? Is it good? It's good. Fruit fruit. Holy shit, this is so bomb. Right, I told you. If I think about it too much, I find it kind of odd how much time I can spend with myself and be totally satisfied and happy. And then I have, you know, these moments that slip in and I'm like, you know what? I need some, I need some people in my life. I need a person uh, to talk to. And then it, someone appears. Like tonight, I walk down the street to photograph the sunset and I look over and there's this girl with her dog and she too was also like looking to watch the sunset. We ended up being on very similar phases in our life, both like the same age and man, it's so weird like literally blows my mind every time stuff like that happens. And it happens like way more often than you think. And I've just been pretty good at like paying attention to things like this lately. 
like for example with this with this trip which the average person driving 5000 miles round trip you know by yourself is kind of fucking crazy and i've spent about a day here so far and boy oh boy i feel like a new man i've been very proud of myself this last year like really really proud of myself not specifically with work related things i'm just proud of myself for the decisions i've been making the boundaries i've been setting and and enforcing for myself and um just a multitude of things and i think this trip is kind of like a reward almost for all the work i've done on myself and in my life the last two years Today I had like one of the best days I've had in a long time. I was sitting in my office a few weeks ago nearing this uh you know miniature burnout if you will. And I looked out the window and this big bird landed right on my balcony. Just sat there. I've never seen a bird ever land on my balcony. <laughs> And so it was just, I was just like, whoa, this is, what's up, little guy? How you doing? And I just, I'm staring deeply at this bird. Kind of lost in it. And I feel this like wave of emotion come over me. And I'm sitting there in my office, in my desk chair, looking out the window at this bird on the verge of tears these interactions with birds I, I keep having these and i and i'm like what's going on this is so strange a couple of videos ago where i told you i looked out my office window and i saw this bald eagle soaring in the sky a thousand feet up in the sky just soaring so yeah it's been like this really this strange ongoing pattern of birds and just paying attention to like them showing up in my life so today I'm sitting on the beach and I'm laying on my back and a, a massive flock of pelicans, a hundred plus birds, fly over me. I didn't, I didn't really process it too quick, but then it occurred to me. I was like, man, believe it or not, it just felt like the universe just saying, hey, you made the right decision. You had anxiety about coming out here, revisiting old memories, engaging with my emotional past and present, and I was rewarded by the sun on my face today, the birds in the sky, just <laughs> listening to the ocean. It was just one of the most beautiful days. I just checked out of the, uh, the Mountain Mermaid and I'm headed to a little cabin that I rented for the next five days, about 10 minutes from here. So here we go and it should be a good time. Should be a good time. Wow, look at this house right here, so cool. Some of the houses up here just look like they were built by the family who lives in them. I think I was supposed to park where these cars are parked. Yeah, for sure. But that's all right, we'll figure something out. Yep, that'll do. Just like, look at these houses, just built straight up in the sky. 
Got enough room, Mr. Classic Mercedes Benz? Yeah, you do. Guy needs a bath. Come to Papa. You know how you go to a friend's house and you're like staying the night and you like leave all your luggage in the car because you're like, you think it's like more polite if you just like bring it in later. And to be super rude if you just like came with all your shit. That's kind of how I feel right now. I'm just like making sure this is the right fucking place. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Look at this view. Why, dude? So fucking cool. Man, if you ever come to Southern California or live here, come to Topanga. I think this is us, guys. <laughs> Sweet. Oh my goodness. Sweet. I know you guys can't see me, but I just wanted to let you hear the rain. <laughs> I've got the windows open because there's no, there's no AC um, or heat of any kind in this cabin, which is fine for the climate here in Topanga. But the rain is pumping in and I usually play some like soft white noise rainfall on my phone to fall asleep to. And I don't need any of that tonight. I got the all natural, the OG rain. It's called rain. <laughs> cool, all right, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Holy fucking shit, what is that? Is that a cat or a bobcat? Good morning, guys. What's up? What's happening? Reporting live from Topanga, a rainy day here. Uh, I'm currently at the Topanga General Store. Groceries, deli, sandwiches, dairy, ice cream, produce, meat, cleaning supplies, hardware, liquor, beer, wine, cold drinks, medicine, stationery, pet supplies. They got it all, folks. We're up in the mountain, right? We're like, it's... <laughs> one of those general stores that we're gonna find all sorts of little goofy little shit um but that's kind of what i'm in the mood for today i don't really want to drive a whole lot i've been driving so much and this was just on the just on the street and needs i need some stuff i need some bread and uh some veggies and some fresh shit Chippies. So are you from Topanga then? No. I live in uh, Los Angeles, downtown. Like. Okay. So you've been commuting here for 32 years. Yeah. Can you drive it like just with your every eyes day, closed? Every day. <laughs> but uh, I feel shorty, very short. Yeah. When I started, I feel oh, long way, but not now. 
o sea, era, where you coming from there, it's a long way. Probably it's a long way, but not for me. Now I feel like uh, very close because I do it every day. 49, 26. All right. What up YouTube? Welcome back to my crib. It's crazy cool. We got a balcony with these little flower things. Look at these flowers, where are they? What up YouTube? Welcome to my crib. It's a little cabin in the mountains. What's up with that? Got little flowers up here? What? Heads up, if you ever get this Airbnb, these motherfucking stairs are slippery. Especially when you got little socks on like this. And uh, look at that, look at that guys. Very slippery, careful. Almost totally busted my shit on this washer and dryer a second ago. Okay, talk to you guys later. What up Sweet Cheeks, how you doing today? I'm on my way to uh, my old neighborhood of Los Feliz uh, to meet up with my buddy Mitch. Mitch and I went to college together. We've been friends for years and years and years now, and we're going to this place called Spitz. It's like a Mediterranean Chipotle, if you will. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a good time. It's so nice to be back in my old neighborhood. It feels like I never left, honestly. I, uh, yeah, I love it. I just love driving through LA. Um, I'm a big driver, if you haven't noticed already. I also love to vlog and drive. I think it's very safe, and I think everyone should do it. So I'll see you guys soon. Since I'm a little bit early, I'm gonna take you guys to one of my old apartments uh, here in Los Feliz. Cute little place right across the street from um, um, a school, which kind of is giving me flashbacks of hearing the, uh, the kids run around, uh, which was not fun, but I still love this apartment and I love this neighborhood, it's so cute. There's the old stomping grounds. 1935 North Hoover Street. Uh, I was friends with my neighbor actually right there too. Cute little spot. But yeah, I love this street. It's very quiet. It's it's not like a, um, oh shit. Is this a sign? One bite for the boys. Wait, do I have to take a bite? Well, of course you have to take a bite. Oh yeah, oh that was so sexy. Gabriel and I have been out here just chatting, and then this little fella just came by to give us a show. A show. A show, mm -hmm. baby. We were actually talking about your show last night. Yeah. I think he heard us. He was jealous. He's like, oh, you want to see drag? Want to see drag? Here's some drag. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck yeah, baby. How often does this happen? When I have tea ready to grow, ready to go, brewed up. Your boy is so chilled out. I love it. I don't want to leave California. I don't want to go. <sighs> I don't want to go back on the road for four days. But I miss my dog. I miss Olive. 
Yeah. Can't think about it too much. Otherwise, my thing is like, I'm a big visualizer and it can be my worst enemy or my best friend. And if I start to visualize what home life is like, I get kind of fixated on hitting the road and going back. But if I just kind of remain present, uh, keep planning these little missions, these little photo missions, like tonight, went to Point Doom, shot some great stuff, chatted with some cool, cool, cool folkies, watched the, the walruses. It was pretty great. It was a great night. It was a good night. Anyways, I'm sleepy. I'll see you guys soon. Love you. Bye-bye. Dad, what's that, huh? Oh my God, is this the key? Mm -hmm. It's good to be home.